Hey, what's up everybody? So, welcome back to my Rogue Tech series. Uh, this particular episode is going to be extremely short. Something happened with the recording. Uh, the picture recorded just fine, but I got absolutely no audio. No game sounds, no mic sounds. I thought maybe at first maybe I didn't plug my mic in, but there's no sounds at all. So, I'm just going to take you through what happened during this episode. So the first thing we did is we had a look at our catapult. Basically what I did is I went in between episodes and outfitted it. Um, it's just been sitting there and I know we'd, we were talking about uh, how it was going to be underwhelming with a ballistic build. So what I did is I turned and reversed that around and I basically built a laser build with it. So you'll see here the layout is a little bit different. Um, I just put light machine guns in the arms and basically outfitted it with some of the bigger weapons that we had lying around so that the triple plus PPC, the triple plus large laser, the large clan ER laser and just a regular medium ER laser. Now I was able to get pretty good um, heat sinking on it. We had a double heat sink uh, kit which we used on it and a good exchanger, you know, a heat pod and some heat sinks. So it wasn't too bad. So what I did is I basically refit that so that we could use it in the main lance. And I had a look at the Black Knight as well, and there wasn't really a lot we could do with the Black Knight right away. Uh, we still need a little bit of extra gear, and it's going to take some time to get that thing repaired and, and built and working. So I just left that alone for now. And then we went in and we took a mission. And the mission was a relatively simple mission. It was um, basically just a, a rescue mission. So um, basically what it ended up happening was uh, it was a, basically a four on four. They had four heavy mechs. The, it ended up being a Black Knight, an Orion, a Eris, and a Warhammer, just a regular Warhammer 6. So we basically just did it by the numbers, moved in slowly, and they we got lucky with the AI. If there was more guys, it may have been a little trickier, but they basically revealed themselves one at a time. And as they revealed themselves, we just basically removed them from the map board. So the first mech to reveal itself was the Black Knight. And we just started firing on it with everybody. Now our goal originally was to just basically knock his ass on the ground. What we wanted to do is um, get him out of the battle as quickly as possible. My initial fear was, is, as you can see there, they started to move in. And we're trying, I was worried that all four of them were going to come out at once. And then we would be in a little bit of trouble. We might take some significant damage. So my goal was to take the Black Knight down as fast as possible while remaining hidden from the rest of the mechs. And that actually went down pretty well. We were, we were able to knock him, knock him down. Um, at first I thought he had a, uh, an XL engine, but it wasn't. It was just a light engine. So we were targeting his torso to try and remove the XL and then you know remove him from the game. But that didn't quite work once I found out it was just a light engine. So, you know, they were for some reason they were just really really content to pelt me with missiles so I was happy with that I mean they, they, they want to fire missiles over the uh, rocks there and just hit us with a couple couple points damage here and there I was really you know okay with that uh, and then at a certain point this black knight just couldn't withstand the amount of damage we were throwing at him and he was pretty much done so the catapult in the battle actually worked out pretty well. I, was, I wasn't I was really 100% sure if it was going to work out or not, but it seemed to work out pretty good. And here this Warhammer decides to pull the classical error that I've warned everybody about, and that's running out and turning your back to your opposition. He decided to do that, and you know, within a few seconds he was pretty much done. So that Warhammer went down hard. Then what we did was we moved up, and their mechs split apart here. So we had the one guy, who ended up being the Orion, stayed behind while the Aeris try to do a flanking maneuver around so rather than you know splitting up our forces we just used everybody against the Orion and I got lucky here with a headshot and almost took his head off he only had a few points left in his head so then what I tried to do is um, basically do indirect fire hoping for an easy head hit which we did end up getting here in a second um, it took a little bit to you know finally get him I didn't want to blow him up completely because I was looking for Orion parts we did have uh, Orion parts in storage, and there you can see we took his head right off. So we got a lot of Orion parts out of that. And then I moved height back over here just to intercept the Aeris as he was coming around. I wanted to get first shots on him. Uh, we ended up getting a head hit there. Moved the catapult over and fired at him. 
Um, and I believe we did a an offensive push just to push him back one turn so that we could all fire again before he got a chance to move. And this guy was in. Here, here's the offensive push here. We went for a headshot. Um, but we, did, we didn't get the headshot, I don't think, but we did manage to knock him down. And we were trying to take his head off so that we could maximize the amount of salvage we would get on him. And then I realized if we just took his torso out, that could probably be it. And that was it. We incapacitated them. We moved in and uh, secured the base. And that was it, the end of the mission. So in salvage, we didn't really take any damage. But in salvage, we did get a little bit. Um, so there was actually quite a few Eris parts and quite a few Orion parts. So what I, ended up, what I ended up doing was grabbing a couple of Orion parts. And then also what I grabbed is an exchanger, I believe. So once we got our two Orion parts and our double plus exchanger, we ended up getting six Eris pieces in the salvage. I don't think I've ever gotten that many in one, one shot before. And then we, got, and we ended up with four Orion pieces, which was awesome, and a Death Stare. So we did get the Orion. Um, we actually got the uh, Command Orion, which was excellent because it gives us bonus initiative. Um, that was what I was hoping for. We had, I think, four parts before this. Uh, and I think those are the remaining uh, four parts of that Orion V were able to get us it. And it didn't, we didn't really take any damage, 3,800 in C-bill repairs, which was really, really nothing. So that was pretty much the end of this episode. Um, not a lot major happened with the exception of getting that Orion, which is awesome. And we're going to hopefully attempt to refit that in the next few episodes. Um, I want to use that, I think, as my main command mech. So more than likely what I'll end up doing is moving all the Warhammer uh, components into the Orion. And with that, type, with that specific type of Orion, it has laser points in the arms and also missile points in the arms. So I might make that into a laser and slash LRM boat and maybe put the clan LRMs in as well just to uh, maximize the number of uh, missiles we can be firing at one time. But anyway, I'm going to end the, end, the, end the episode for now. And um, yeah, just move right on to the next one. The next episode is actually a really, really exciting episode. Uh, it's a really long, tough fought, fought battle. And it's definitely well worth watching. So if you liked the video, please leave a like. Please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.